Good evening, YouTube is 85. We are getting ready for our 88% chest day. My 88% is 320. We'll be doing that for four sets of four for our working set. Obviously warming our way up. And then hitting some incline bench, some decline. Had a pretty good day today. And probably like most of you, if you have like caring wives who are about nutrition and like, you know, your overall health, mine's super into that. High fructose corn syrup. Just had a little talk about this. Hey babe, why is high fructose corn syrup bad for you? I mean, it spikes your blood sugar. And it's just very processed. You don't wanna consume any overly processed sugars or oils. And there you have it. It's in a lot of the sauces that all of you love, like A1 sauce, barbecue sauce or my teriyaki sauce. That one's just sugar. I don't know, I, I lied, that one's just sugar. It's still not good. Still not good, yeah. Barbecue sauce, that's in it. A1 sauce, not just raisins, not fructose corn syrup. There's better options out there. Apparently there's better options for steak sauce as far as health-wise. I think it tastes like Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire, I can't even say that. I don't like it. Also, now to go back to Larry Wheels and then tell you how this was, super, super great pre-workout is, I take it straight to the dome, um, like scoops the mouth, a little water swish around. It doesn't clump up at all, like instantly um, absorbs into the water. It's really nice, super great tasting. Pump was good. I'm excited to have it for chest day today. So I have a few workout videos for y'all and a little post workout video with a naked shake. Thanks guys. So guys, it's really important that you breathe through your reps. You don't want to hold your breath during your reps. You don't want to breathe when you get to the very top of your lockout. You want to breathe all the way through that climb up. Really help the explosive action up. It really tightens up your core. I don't know if you noticed, but I don't really do the whole arch back. Super power lifter thing. I'm fairly relatively flat on my back. Shoulders just a little rolled back. Help engage with the lats for the drive through. My arms aren't super flared out. How you bench makes a big difference. Just laying on the bench, your platform, your setup, all makes a big difference on the weight you can put on the bar. Thanks. Go, 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 go. Hey guys, so we're here with the post-workout recap. Uh, it was 88% heavy chest day and went up to the 340, did a uh, four sets. Last set I did five reps, so that was good. A little overachievement there. Like I was talking about in the workout, how your bench style plays a lot out with how much weight you can put up. If you're really trying to get a lot of weight up, you know how you see a lot of those power lifters, they hike their legs super far back and their back's really arched, which gives them a lot more leverage and a much shorter travel distance. 
You know, I don't do that. My back's relatively straight. I just roll my shoulders back, keep everything tight, get my core tight, keep your feet firmly planted on the ground. If your feet are coming off the ground, you're losing power. So just keep that in mind when you're benching and you're trying to go heavy. And make sure you're not flaring your arms out and they're kind of tucked in a little bit so you can engage your lats. If not, you're just putting too much pressure on your shoulder joints. It's not good. It's for toning, it's for bodybuilding, not for lifting heavy. But tomorrow's arm day, so catch y'all then. Have a great night. Thank you.